Hey Internet, it's our Felix Finch of Letter Art Productions and I'd like to talk to you today, unfortunately about something very serious. The reason for this video of course is to memorialize Mr. Williams as you can see in the description. Let's talk about something more serious. Now, unfortunately I never met the man, I really wish I could have. I was first really introduced to Robin Williams with uh, I used to watch Nick and Knight, so there was Mork and Mindy, and of course as a kid, I was watching Aladdin. And I also saw him do some great charity work with Comic Relief, which ran throughout the 90s and raised awareness of homelessness. You know, I used to love watching his movies. You know, there was Hook. There were, there was so many. He even did some family movies like Flubber, which may not have been his greatest, but you know, he always brought something special to the table. And he's one of those comedians that just, as a kid, I'd always say he was my favorite comedian because no matter what, he could la he could make me laugh. There's a lot of specials he had that I probably shouldn't have been watching when I was six or seven or eight. And a lot of jokes I didn't get because, let's be honest, what does a six-year-old know about Lorena Bobbitt or John Wayne Bobbitt? But this guy, he was just, he was this massive ball of energy on stage. And he was a voice that couldn't be silenced until this week when he decided to silence his own. And that's really unfortunate. The world has lost an incredible man, a great entertainer, someone who gave all of themselves to us so willingly and so freely. Now, for years, I've actually dealt with depression as well. Have I had suicidal thoughts and tendencies? Absolutely, at certain points. Learning to deal with it is really a struggle. It's not as simple as one would think. I mean, I've always been lucky in that I have a large enough family outside of my immediate family that was always there for me and could always be talked to, you know, having many dozens of cousins really does help. But then I know there's those of you out there that feel alone. And I don't want you to have to go through anything like this or do anything drastic because you feel that there's no help for you. You're loved. We do care about you. And there's always somebody willing to listen. And hey, you know, for those of you that don't feel that you could, those of you who don't feel that you could easily find somebody to talk to or you feel like if you let your problems out that you'd be judged, don't worry. Down here is the number to the suicide hotline. It's toll free and if things ever get terrible, this is a group of people who have given of themselves, who've dedicated their own time and who volunteered to go and listen to you, to go tell you that you do matter, to go tell you that there are other ways and that this life doesn't need to end and that it does get better and I'm going to be honest, it always bothers me when I hear it gets better because you know sometimes it doesn't but you know what, that's life, it's, life is the adventure. Sometimes things get better, sometimes things get worse. A roller coaster that just went straight or just went up would be no fun. So yeah, you've got to go with, yeah, you have to have down, you're going to have downs along with your ups. And that's okay. Because in the uh, immortal words of Chumbawamba, you may get knocked down, but you'll get up again. And you can't let anything keep you down. And there's help anywhere you go. And you may have a, a group of friends or even on the computer, maybe you have a community you can reach out to. Some people with some like-minded interests. <laughs> you know, there's some part, points where you know, I was really depressed and I would put on Robin Williams, I would put on George Carlin, Richard Pryor, you know, Christopher Titus. Just all people that absolutely brought me joy. You, 
I go make music. I know there are some of you out there that are incredibly talented artists. Some of you out there, fantastic writers. Some of you out there, incredibly strong and just love working out. Pick your poison, whatever it is, just do something productive, creative, that, or even just lays around and just do something that brings you joy. We have the, we have literally the world at our fingertips these days. That's just full of people with interests that are super expansive. I mean, if you go on Reddit and try to find a sub, a forum of some kind, there's probably something for whatever you're looking for. And if there's not, there will be. That's rule 42 maybe? Or is it 46? I don't know my internet rules too well. But just get out there and do something. Get out there and be something. Because you are something, you are somebody. You matter. <sighs> Like I said before, I've lost friends, I've lost dear family, and when you do lose somebody, you just wonder why and you feel like shit because you don't know what you could have done to help and you know that you would have done anything to help them. So if I'm going to guilt you into something. Don't leave people like that. Don't make them have to wonder what they could have done differently. Let them know that you're good, that you're fine, that you know everything will be all right because you will be here the next day, the next year. <sighs> anyway. That's all I've got to say, internet, and again, no, you know, I'm just going to ask you to do one thing, internet, go out there and if you love nobody else, love yourself, do the best you can for you, I love you guys, now. Let's make some magic.